<laughs> Good evening and welcome to your craft cottage. My name is Giselle. I'm an independent designer with Chalk Couture and I live in Western Massachusetts where we broke a record high again today, believe it or not. It was, it was a beautiful day till it started pouring down rain around five o'clock or so. It was crazy how hard it came down and, and then we're going to get, um, snow on Tuesday. We're supposed to get six to 10 inches of snow. So go figure, go figure. So when you come on, if you don't see the little red light button up in the corner there, then you're catching me on the replay. So if you wouldn't mind commenting hashtag replay, that helps my page out. And also if you wouldn't mind sprinkling, that helps my page out even more. And I really, really appreciate it. So let's see who's here. Let me pull my comments yeah, up. So hi, Deb. Hi, Daria. Hi, Eileen. Eileen, they beat you out today. You weren't first to the party. What happened? <laughs> You're always right there on the ball. How are you ladies doing tonight? Hi, Deb DeGray. How's the weather down south? I bet you it's nice. I forgot to pull out some paper. I was rushing around, so just give me one second. I forgot to pull out a piece of my pretty pink butcher paper. So how was everybody's day today? Everybody have a good day? I had a, a good day. I went to the dump, did some dump diving. Oop, I found a really cute um, metal piece at the dump. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it, but it's really pretty. So, Jeez, it's giving me a hard time. Okay. So, thank you for sprinkling, Deb. So how are you ladies? Did, what did you do today on your on your day off, hopefully, your Saturday? I know this is not my usual night, um, so hopefully everybody remembered to come on over. There, that's better, because we're going to do some painting. We're actually, hi Peggy, we're actually going to do quite a big of painting. Lazy day today. Oh, nice. <laughs> yeah, you needed to rest up, huh? Eileen, that's nice. You went for a long walk. Daria, that's so nice. You're going to have your little ones again tonight, spending the night for a sleepover. That's so awesome. Yeah, because you're you're like, what, 4 o'clock? Are you three hours behind or two? You're mountain time, so you're probably, I think where you are, if I'm not mistaken. So that's great. So let's get started because we have, it's going to be, it's four. So you are three hours behind us. Okay. Very good. All right. So let me show you what we're going to do. And then I'm going to have you guys help me make a decision. Your Pacific time where you are. Okay, Daria. Hi, Tammy. Jeffrey's, <laughs> Jeffrey's saying hi, and he's sitting right over here next to me. He's hiding over here. <laughs> you didn't do much of any. Uh, you know what, Deb? It'll still be there tomorrow, right? Enjoy the day. Enjoy. See, everybody's saying hi to you now, honey. Hi, Daria. Hi, Deb. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know if you can hear him, but he's over there in the corner saying hello. So, I have been staring at this, um, hi Tammy, since I bought it, and um, I know we we do, oh Deb, thank you for the stars, hon, Mwah. thank you, thank you. So, I know we do rounds quite often, but I just couldn't wait, I wanted to, to do something with this piece that I got, because I think it's just gorgeous. So, hi Barb, that's okay, hon. Oh, okay. Did you find a pet sitter yet so you can go to the meet and greet? <laughs> <laughs> you heard him, Deb. That's good. Thanks for sprinkling, Barb. So I have another one of the rounds from Walmart. These rounds are awesome. They are awesome. They're nice and thick. Let me pull out my ruler and tell you, first of all, the size of the round itself is it's 16-inch round. 
and they got to be at least a quarter of an inch thick at least they're nice and thick and they're nice and sturdy um actually it looks like it's a half come on hold still yeah these are they're a half inch almost i can't get it there we go all right yeah they're they're like yeah they're but probably about three eighths i would say Oh, good. You did get a sitter. Awesome. So you're definitely going to be able to go. That's terrific, Bart. Lucky you. So we're going to be doing a round. And then look at this piece that I got at Walmart. This, I just, when I saw this, I was like, oh my gosh, this would look so gorgeous. Hi, Christine. How gorgeous does that look on this round? I just think it is so pretty on here. So we are gonna we're gonna paint the surface and the leaves, and then I couldn't decide. At first, I was gonna do this is what I was gonna do at first. I was gonna do Welcome Home on here. However, it looks like what Walmart does is when they make these, they take two of them and glue them together to make it really nice and thick. And when they did this one, I don't know if you guys can see it on camera, but it's off kilter. You can, yeah, you can see it in the M and the E especially. They didn't glue it straight. It's off kilter. And I really don't like that at all. So that one's out. Definitely not doing that one. But, oh, are they Barb? Yeah. Hi, Christine. How are you? So the other one I have, and I'm not sure I like this one. I, we could do Welcome Home, but I think I think the home on this one is too fancy. I think it's just too fancy for the welcome. So I don't like that either. So we're down to two choices. We can either just do the welcome in the center, or I also have a hello. So we could do that in the center. And I think the hello looks a little better because it's bigger so there's what it would look like Let's see if i can get this held up so you guys can see so this is what i'm thinking i'm thinking to use the just the hello <laughs> barb saying hello hello barb <laughs> yep everybody's saying hello now <laughs> i knew i could get you guys to all say hello to me <laughs> yep. definitely, definitely hello. everybody likes the hello yeah, that that's true, Peg, except I really want to paint it. I really want to paint it. Um, hi, Sh Cheryl, how are you? I am having a great weekend. All right, we're going to go with the hello. And you're right, Christine, so when I use that on a future project, that's what I will do with it. Or No, it wasn't Christine, it was Peggy. Peggy, yep, that's a great idea, um, but I don't want to Waverly wax it because I'm going to use really nice pretty springy colors because i want this to look springy all right so is blue springy well you know jeffrey's here so of course what color do i have to use but blue it doesn't have to. <laughs> so <laughs> that's what i had pulled out this is called glacier and it's the folk art um chalk paint and it's glacier and it's really a pretty blue hi tracy how are you tonight, my friend? I hope you are doing good. So let's get this tag off. So the round is from Wal. Everything's from Walmart tonight. The words are from Walmart also. So everything's from Walmart. I know, Daria, isn't it pretty? It's the prettiest blue. That's the one thing that I think um, folk art has a little bit of an advantage over um, the Waverly. I think their colors, they have a bigger range of colors and their colors are really pretty. Thanks for sprinkling, Tracy. Let me see if I can find a bigger brush. There we go. I want an even bigger one than that. I think, oh, oh, there we go. Here we go. So let me get, sorry, got to get up again. My nose is running. I'm having a great night. Okay. The big brush, I won't be able to fit it in the jar. 
So I plan to paint the background in this glacier and then on the, um, there goes my, I'll have to pick that up, my hello honey. Um, on the um, leaves, I'm gonna use chalk paste because I think I've told you guys before, we can use it to paint and I'm gonna use the eucalyptus because I wanted a nice bright springy color. And then, here he comes to say hello. <laughs> He's here to say hello. Hello. <laughs> Wise guy. Hi, Sue. How are you? You caught me live, honey. Yay. And then on the hello, I'm going to use um, Peony, a nice, pretty, bright pink. Hi, Charlie. I want everything to be really springy. And then I think I'm just going to put a bow. That's it. No greenery, no flowers, just a bow. I think that's going to be plenty on here. So let me just get some paint out here. And we'll start painting. I'm sitting on the sidelines. Yes, he's sitting on the sidelines. That's good. He should be here all the time because then he can read comments and I don't have to read them. He can tell me. Talk about sidelines. Who's rooting for who for the Super Bowl? Yes. Yep. Who's rooting for who? Oh, and speaking of, I don't know what made me think of this. It has nothing to do with the Super Bowl. But as of uh, live time, I only need eight more um, followers. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's a good idea. That's a good idea, Christine. Um, so I only need eight followers to, um, hit that 9,500 mark. So sprinkle that video out, ladies, and let's see, let's see if maybe we can reach that 30 again tonight. Wouldn't that be awesome? That would be awesome. So anyway. That's a pretty blue. I like that. I know it is a really pretty blue. Let's have some fun tonight. Here's what we're going to do. I feel like giving something away. So, everybody um, put in the comments what you think the score is going to be of the game. So, put in, like, just put an SF for San Francisco and put a, thank you, Barb, put a K, KC in for Kansas City and put what you think the score is going to be. And whoever either hits it on the head or comes the closest I'm going to send you out um, some happy mail. So everybody put in the comments what you think it's going to be. Hi, Diane. Welcome. Welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much also for sprinkling. You are, I believe you're new. So, yep, you got to put what you think the score is going to be. So you got to put down what, how many points you think San Francisco is going to get and how many points KC is going to get and who you think is going to win. So, so like, uh, as an example, um, put down, um, like, Ooh. SF 50 and hey. KC 30. Hey, Peggy's got it. Barb's got there it. you go. There you go. You guys got the idea. There we go. Oh, so Barb's rooting for KC. Who's Peggy rooting for? Peggy's rooting for Gase KC too, boy. Yeah. Wow, look at all these Kansas City people. Oh, Deb is going with uh, yep. Kansas City. Deb, boy, everybody's going Kansas with City. Kansas City. Wow. Well, I got to tell you, I'm a San Francisco girl, so that's who I'm going to be rooting for. Okay, there we go. Christine's rooting for San Francisco. Yeah. But Diane, Diane <laughs> says she's been here a few times. She just sits and watches. Oh, okay. Awesome. Thanks, Di Well, thank you for saying hello to me tonight, Diane. I really appreciate you being here. And for sprinkling. Daria's going with San Fran. Daria's going with San Fran, too. Good. Good. See, I haven't even seen her comment yet. Thank you for those hearts, Diane. Hi, Pam. How are you tonight? So, Pam, if you're just hopping on, we're ask, I'm asking everybody to put in the comments 
um, what they think the score is going to be. So, you know, what, you know, just put SF for San Francisco and KC for Kansas City and what, how many points you think each team is going to score. And whoever comes the closest, um, oh, Cheryl's looking for a close game, but she's going for San Fran. Oh, <laughs> you know, Kansas that's all right, Daria. She's going for Kansas City. <laughs> Tracy doesn't care as long as she wins the pool. Cheryl's going for Kansas City. <laughs> Yeah, right, Barb. I hear you. So whoever comes the closest, I'm going to send some happy mail to. I put in, I, well, I didn't get in any pools, but yeah, well, you know, you never, what I always say, Deb, is you never know. Anything can happen. You're football illiterate. That's okay. Just take a wild guess, Pam. There, Diane's rooting for the 49ers. Yeah, I, I didn't get in any pools, and Jeffrey didn't either. Hi, Lisa. Welcome. Thank you for sprinkling. You're not a Yeah, that's all right, Christine. You don't have to be a sports person. You know, you never know. That's what I always say. You never know what's going to happen. I mean, perfect example. Look at what happened. I mean, I know a lot of people don't like Tom Brady and the Patriots, you know, when he was playing. But if you look back to the Super Bowl when they were down like 27 points and came back in the last quarter to win it, I mean, everybody, nobody thought that that would ever happen. Um, so you never know. You just never know. You know, players get hurt. Sometimes the best players on the team get hurt during the game, and that, you know, can change the whole score. So... So you never know, sometimes an underdog can win. All right, so let me get this dry and I think I am going to give it a second coat. No, this isn't my usual night, so nobody's expecting me to be here. All right, I'm sorry. I have to, you know, do the human part, human thing. Because my nose is just all good. <laughs> Don't do that. He's such a brat. He's like pointing at my nose. <laughs> yeah, that's right. There you go. Peyton Manning did it in 2006. There you go. Hi, Roxanne. How are you doing, my friend? I hope you're feeling better in better spirits. So, Roxanne, if you're just dropping on too, um, we are guessing the score of the Super Bowl. So, if you... Even if you're not a sports fan and know nothing about the game, just put in the comments, use SF for San Francisco and KC for Kansas City, and just guess. Thanks, Pam. Yes. I, sometimes you just need to do it. Yep. We all do. We all do. And actually, sorry, I didn't, ugh, I didn't wipe my hands after that. Sorry. Oh, there you go, Roxanne. So, yeah, so just put in the comments um, how many points you think San Fran's going to score and how many Kansas City's going to score. And the person coming the closest, I am going to send out some happy mail to them. And I'll let you know who won um, on my next live, which, hi, Linda, which will be um, Tuesday night because I won't be on tomorrow night. Tell them about Shane getting that, what is it, that helmet when he was, what, six years old? Huh? Joe Montana. Oh, when he was a kid. Yeah. When he, oh, no, he was only like three or four, I think. Yeah, tell them about that. Oh, that great. was cute. Yes, back um, back in the day, um, my son, it wasn't Joe Montana. I forget who it was. It wasn't Joe Montana. Now you're going to make me tell the story, and I can't remember who it was. Well, it was 
number it, 13, right? It was somebody, I, the colors were, might have even been Kansas City. I don't know, but. It was um, Kansas City colors. He played for Kansas City before he went to San Fran. Well, it would have been like, oh, um, was it Steve Young? Yeah. Was it? I don't no, know, but. It was Steve Young. It was Montana. Was it Joe Montana? Yeah. My son was young. He was only hygiene. He was only like, I think four at the most. Great, Lisa. Um, we got him. He was, he was, loved football. Of course, his father watched it all the time. So, of course, he watched it. And um, we got him a, it was, you know, a kid's size um it was nine. It had to have been ninety around ninety one, because he was four, at the most. And he opened this up. The um, this little outfit. It was like a little junior football outfit with the pads and the helmet and everything. And he just started yelling out the name of the quarterback. I don't think it was Joe Montana. I think it was somebody else. But. Uh, it was the cutest darn thing because he knew as soon as he saw that little uniform who it was. And I don't think we bought it because it was somebody he liked. I think we just got it. You know, it's what they had for the kids. But the fact that he knew it was Joe but, Montana. Yeah, the fact that he knew right away who it was. And I got it on videotape and he was just going nuts. He was so excited. And we're like, we were looking at each other. Like, how did he know that? How did he know that that, you know, was that player's number? And, oh, my God, it was just the cutest thing. Well, the thing that surprised me was the fact that um, the only, when I knew Joe Montana is when he played for the 49ers. Yep. I didn't know he played for Kansas City prior to All that. All right. So does anybody know that? Is that right, that Montana played for Kansas City prior to playing for San Fran? I could Google it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't, you know, I should remember that because I like Joe Montana, but, but oh my gosh, it was so darn cute. Kids are something else. When you think they're not paying attention, but he apparently was paying attention to that football. All right, let's get this dry and then we'll paint our leaves. So what's everybody doing tomorrow? I know some of you ladies aren't football fans, so you won't be watching. Um, <laughs> that's funny. That's funny. I think it is going to be a high-scoring game, and I think it's going to be a close game. Hi, Julie. How are you? Thank you for being here. Yep, 49ers and Kansas City Chiefs. Okay. So that must be who it was. Oh, yeah, oh, they sure do. That's why you have to be careful of everything you say around kids because they just, you know, they're always listening. Oh, your hurt, your hips bothering you tonight, Julie. I'm sorry, hon. Well, I hope it's healing. Okay. That was your husband's guess. Car, you got to take the car in. What? Whoops. What's, oh, you, my husband probably knows what that is, but what's a smog check? It's a exhaust emissions test. Oh, okay. He just told me. Um, Deb, this is folk art, and it's called Glacier. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's Glacier. Really pretty color. And I just got it all over me. <laughs> a lot hey, of my folk hi, art. <laughs> he said hi, Julie. A lot of my folk art paint um, I have gotten from Amazon. Hold on, I'm co -pilot today. What's that? I'm co He's co-pilot today. <laughs> He's the co-pilot. I know, Pam. Isn't it beautiful? All yes. blues are beautiful. It's, see, yep. the hubby thinks all blues are beautiful. Yeah, not my team playing either, although San Francisco was the first team that I rooted for back in the day. But So I still really like them. But, you know, 
whoever wins is is going to win. That's a sad thing because somebody's going to be happy tomorrow and somebody's not going to be happy. I'm going to be happy. Beer, hot wings. Yeah. <laughs> it Chips is. and dip. I always oh, yeah. feel bad for the team that loses because, you know, when the game is over, oh, that's okay, Barb. Don't be sorry, hon. You know, when the game's over, you look at their faces and they're so dejected because, you know, they work so hard for this. And they take a beating. He was in 91. Okay, so it probably was Joe Montana yeah, then. Yep, thank right. you, Linda. That's what I knew. Yep, thank you. All right, I think. When he told me, or when you told me that it was Joe Montana, number 13 for the Chiefs. Yep. I didn't know that he played for that. I didn't. I didn't remember that either. But for him being that young. For being that knowing, young and remembering. And yep. Yeah. He was a character. Okay. Let's get my... Bring this over. And I didn't paint the edges for the simple reason that you really can use this as a double-sided door hanger. So I don't, you know, if you don't paint the edges, then it's easier to have it as a double-sided. So I just decided not to on that one. <laughs> Barb wants to know if Linda looked it up. So the, um, the eucalyptus chalk paint that I'm going to paint this with and what I'm going to use, because it makes it a lot better, is a makeup sponge. And so I'm just going to dip it right in my chalk and kind of, you know, get a little off. And I'm just going to pounce it all over. And it gives a really nice coverage. I, I won't even probably need to do two coats. And it doesn't get it all over the edges and the sides, so it's really nice. And it, like I said, it, it isn't that pretty, Charlene? It is pretty. That can look okay with the blue in the background? Mm-hmm. Okay. It is. It's going to look really pretty. You just wait and see. Oh, I know, Daria. It is a beautiful green. This eucalyptus. I love it. Thank you for sprinkling, Jean. I appreciate that, my friend. That's why I like everything blue, because I don't have to worry about it matching. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's a guy's mentality. Hi, Diane. How are you, sweetie? I'll tell you, um, Barb, and I think I saw Christine do it. I don't have um, a bot. I was not invited by it. You have to be invited Oh, I got this from Walmart, believe it or not, Linda. Yep. And I got it just recently, like probably, what, three, four weeks ago, maybe, if that. It was when I went in to get the round for Daria's. Um... Connie. Connie, thank you for being here. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. I hope you enjoy what you see tonight. And I hope you give me a follow if you're not following. We have a wonderful group of ladies here. Hey. What? Anna, Anna. Oh, and a gentleman. Sorry. My hubby's here tonight, too. <laughs> He's usually here whenever. Oh, thanks, Daria. You guys are so sweet. So, yes, I got this at Walmart, and it's just, it's really pretty. Watched a lot oh, of football, yes. yeah. I I didn't watch a ton. My dad, he pretty much um, he he was a Giants fan his whole life, and so he always watched if the Giants were on. Of course, when I was growing up, we only had three stations, <laughs> and there probably I'm sure there was not as many football teams back then. Not like there is now. There was a lot less football teams. Because um, the Jaguars are a new team. Uh, Carolina Panthers are a newer team. Um, I know there's a few of them. Tennessee, I think. Tennessee Titans, they're, they're a newer team. Yes, isn't it pretty, Diane? And I don't think... Um, Hi, Linda. Say it louder. She won't be able to Hi, hear Linda. you. In case you didn't hear him, he said hi, Linda. <laughs> mm. 
he's not typing tonight because he's here. He figures he can just, you know, he can just yell it out. So, yeah, I mean, uh, we probably, you know, back then, right, honey, we probably had one football game on on a Sunday, and that was it. Because we only got three channels back then. I remember on my, my where I live, it was channels 3, 10, and 13. Or no, was it 3? No, it was 6, 10, and 13. Uh, oh, that's going way back. That was before my time. It's, yeah, okay. Oh, nice. Very nice. Well, happy birthday to your granddaughter. Happy birthday. Hey, Amanda. Hey, Amanda. How are you, girl? It's been a long time. <laughs> been what maybe half an hour <laughs> yes it, it's true yeah it's three channels and I was the clicker <laughs> or the remote we call it a clicker I don't know why but yeah our remote but, was get up and change the channel that's right that's what I mean I was the remote oh you know my father would say can you get get up and change the channel see what else is on <laughs> yep. No remotes. Think of some of the inventions that we've seen. The invention of the cell phone and the remote control. All kinds of things. That, the computer. Yeah, you were too, Barb. You were the remote, huh? <laughs> I think most of us kids probably were. We were all the remote. Yep. Get up and change the channel. But you know, it's funny. Back then, we had three channels, and there was always something decent to watch on television. Now, now we have like 200. We have like 2,000, and you can't find anything good to watch half the time. It's crazy. It's really, I watch Harry Potter all the time. Yeah, that's what Jeff watches constantly. For some reason, our cable network, they have Harry Potter movies on every single weekend. So Jeff's in his glory. If it's not Harry Potter, it's um, the like the, the Avenger Avengers. movies or um, Lord of the Ring movies. There you go. Yep. Yeah, it's, it's one of those three that he's watching every weekend. All right, this looks good. And like I said, I don't think we are definitely not going to need a second coat on this. We just got to get it dry. So that's a little tip. So if you're painting with chalk paste, a makeup sponge, and I'll tell you, it was funny. I had a really hard time when I purchased these. It's been quite a while, but I had a really hard time finding them. My Dollar Tree didn't have them. I ended up finding some in my Target. And that was probably more than a year ago. Yup, Deb was, yeah. A lot of us kids were. We were the remote back then. Yup. But we were young, so it was easy for us to get up. We could bounce right off the floor like nothing. Now we bounce down. We go down on the floor and we don't bounce. Oh, there you go. Linda loves Harry Potter. There we go. We got a Harry Potter lover. I don't mind it. It's it's okay. It's not my favorite, but it's all right. So why did you grab that instead of just brush it? Well, hold on. Yeah, put tin foil on the rabbit ears. There you go. There you go, Pam. Yup. <laughs> uh, dabbing it with the um, makeup sponge gives it a much better coverage. Okay. Yeah, Amazon. They have everything. There you go. Peggy says Harry Potter's her favorite. Yep. There's another one. Dad does too. Yeah, dabbing it gives it, it just, um, with the paste, it just works better. So you don't, you don't get any brush strokes. Changing the color wheel. Yes, that's right. I forgot about that. Yep. You turn into some channels and everything would be like red. Yep. And you'd have to adjust the color. And I remember the the uh, TV repairman coming with his little doctor bag there with 
and he flipped, we were always fascinated when he flipped it open and he had all the, uh, the tubes inside there to fix the TV with. Christine doesn't have a TV. Well, it's okay, Christine, because you know what? Nowadays, there's nothing good to watch. Nothing good at all. I'm going to turn my view on. Okay, so that seems to be dry. So, oh, I don't really want to put that on top of it. It's not, where did I, oh. All right, so my hello, I'm going to do in the color peony. So we're going to do that in this peony. nice, pretty peony, peony, or peony as my husband says, but he's not right. That's a, a long-standing discussion. Ask Alexa. Alexa, how do you say peony? Okay, but which language do you want me to translate to? English. English. <laughs> English. She hung up on me. What the heck? Alexa, how do you pronounce peony? The pronunciation of peony is subject to personal pronouncing and may differ among speakers. There we go. There we go. See? Okay. May differ. Oh, he won on that one. I love it. Alexa said it it depends on the speaker. Pack of 50 sponges. Wow. And how much? Where's Jeffrey hiding? Come on over. <laughs> Linda wants to know where you're hiding. I put him in the corner. <laughs> chained with chains. With chains. I got him chained over there, it Linda. Hurts so bad. Oh, he can't move. Yeah. Oh yes, it hurts so bad. Oh my gosh. I don't know what we were talking about. Three dollars, wow, for fifty of them. That's a good price. There you go. Like Peony, yeah. Thank you, Linda. No, it's Peony. And I once heard somebody say the reason why it wasn't Peony is because she said, nobody's peeing on any knees over in my house. <laughs> oh, geez, that was funny. I like that. That's good. Linda, P-O, I like that. Yeah, he's, <laughs> Eileen said you're misbehaving. <laughs> He is. He's over in the corner. I can make him come and say hi to everybody again. Come on over, say hi to everybody again. Well, sorry, it's wet. You can't touch the hello right now. You can, you can, here. Oh. Here, you can have this. Welcome. <laughs> you got a little bit on the inside here. There you go. He's here to say welcome. Hi, everybody. <laughs> nice seeing you. Love, love being on, taking care of the good stuff, being quiet on the sidelines. There you go. He's behaving over there. That was nice. He came down to keep me company tonight. I'm not sure if he came to keep me company or if he was just lonely at, at the house. <laughs> there's Vanna. Oh. <laughs> Amanda said there's Vanna. <laughs> sure. Hi, can I interest you in one of these? <laughs> these are so nice. All right, out of sight, out of mind. Vanna, Vanna did his job for the night. <laughs> oh, he just cracks me up. Three dollars. <laughs> Three dollars. <laughs> Job's laughing at you. <laughs> Oh, he is a funny guy, Linda. Don't encourage him. <laughs> really, he doesn't need... Thank you, <laughs> thank, thank you, Barb. He doesn't need any encouragement. Thank you, Barb. What's Barb saying? I didn't see her comment. Nobody puts you, Jeffrey. In no, room. Barb, don't encourage him. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, I'm camera shy. All right, now... Let's get this little baby put together. <laughs> I mean, so well, just you're... like pecan. Yeah, right. Pecan. It's pecan. Pecan. Oh, I'm sorry, honey, Christine. I know. I'm sure you miss him terribly. I'm sure you do, hon. I'm so sorry. Yes, it's awful. To I think we have a few ladies on here that have lost their husbands, and I'm sure they know how you feel. All right. 
Okay, let's bring this back. Let's see if we can start assembling. Yes, I know. It's so sad, so hard. Okay. So see how pretty that's gonna look? Oh, that does come out nice. Yes, it's gonna look pretty on the blue. Yeah. All right, so let's get some glue on this baby. So I'm gonna have to go fast. Oh, geez, come on. Oh, of course, this isn't quite ready. I turned it on, but it's not quite ready. And I want it to be good and hot so that I can get around this thing fast. So we'll take that little bit off and let give that another second or two to heat up. Maybe what we'll do, let's do this. So we can save some time. Let's make our bow while we're waiting. All right, so let's get my trusty little bow dabra out here. My beautiful, what can we name it? Beautiful something. Your bow dabra is good. Oh, you, 90, 1997. Holy cow, he's only 44. That's, uh oh, I'm so sorry. Charlene. Oh, you too, Charlene. I'm so sorry, my friend. Ugh. Pecan instead of pecan. Yeah. And in South Carolina, I'm surprised they don't say pecan there. Wow. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I agree with your husband. Hi, Jackie. Oh, Christine. Oh, he was young too. Oh, my gosh. That's so, I'm so sorry, ladies. All right, here is our ribbon. And I'm not going, you know, anything too elaborate. And we're not going to do any greenery or any flowers. I think just a simple bow, and that's all this is going to need. So here's the ribbon I picked. It's got the colors in it that we use, the blue and the um eucalyptus and then I'm going to use it's got yellow also so I'm going to use some yellow because I want to keep it kind of bright for springtime get rid of these. Isn't thank you Pam this one came from this actually was a Walmart it's a Walmart Easter ribbon so I'm sure I got it last year um, but a lot of times Walmart repeats their ribbons, so it's possible you might be able to find some this year because they do repeat. All right, let's see. And we're not going to need real long tails, but we can cut them down. Let's decide what I want for how big I want the bow here. So I was going to chalk on the round tonight, but because I did have something that said welcome spring, but it didn't, um, oh, that's nice. Oh, that's wow. nice, Christine. Um, I didn't have, um, the one I had, like I say, it was a little bit bigger than, um, hi, Jan. Oh, don't be sorry. You're late. Never late. Oh, nice. You got to spend some time with your fur baby. Um, so anyway, I decided it was going to be, I could kind of get it in there, but um, it was going to be really, really hard to manipulate it. And I was really um, not feeling confident that I was going to be able to line it up good in the center. So I um, scrapped that idea. All right, do I want to do, I think I am going to do four. Hi, Debbie. No, please, you're never, ever late. Never, ever late. And the replay is always there if you want to go back to the beginning. So for the ladies that just jumped on, uh, we're having a little contest to guess the score of the Super Bowl. So for you ladies that just came on, if you just put in the comments... Um, like, hi, Stephanie, either, um, SF for San Francisco, KC for Kansas City, and put in on, you know, by the initials, 
how many points you think they're going to score. And whoever comes the closest, I'm going to send some happy mail. So put your guesses in, ladies. If you already guessed, you don't get a second one. <laughs> You've been out and about. Stephanie, how was your weather today? I'm not, I'm not even sure where you are. Oh, well, we had for high today. Oh, we, I don't know. I'm not sure. I think our high was 59. Yep. Uh, so we definitely, we like annihilated the record. The record was, I think, um, okay, Diane, um, put um, like what, how many points you think KC's going to score and how many points you think San Francisco's going to score. That's how we're doing it. Yep. Um, so, yeah, so we, I think the record was, like 49 or 46 or something like that which i was kind of surprised at that it was that low um but we we definitely we annihilated that record and then tomorrow's gonna only be in the the low 40s but then on tuesday we're supposed they're predicting right as of now six to, six to ten inches of snow for tuesday which um i'm sure the ski areas are really happy because um School vac there you go, Diane. Um, the yep. schools are on vacation the week after oh, next. Kansas City. Everybody wants Kansas City. <laughs> so, um, yeah, the schools are on vacation the week after next, so I'm sure the ski area is around here. Uh, oh, Connie's rooting for Kansas City, too. Yep. 28, it, but I'm sure that they are going to be really happy because they're going to have um, a nice, good snow base for school vacation week. I promise the ground has been thawed out. Okay, Jackie. Okay, thank you, Deb. Everybody's going with Casey. I think we only have one or two that went with um, San Fran. San Fran, yeah. Yep. Say so the ground's not frozen. Yeah, the ground isn't frozen. I mean, we're like in a mud bog. Hi, Linda. How are you tonight, my friend? Your husband wants them to win? Well, all I know for sure is somebody's going to win. Somebody's definitely going to win. And somebody's unfortunately going to lose. The thing that I hate about it the most is that football's over for the season. Because I love watching football and... um. Yeah, I agree, Amanda. I agree. But I'm still hoping San Fran wins. Okay, so there is our bow. <laughs> yes, Connie. Yep, that's for sure. Okay. Isn't this pretty, Stephanie? Nothing perfect on her name is Stephanie. That's who I'm talking to. My hubby is here with me tonight, Stephanie. Oh, I'm always afraid that that... I know I've seen other crafters have that twine break on them. Yeah, ours is too, Deb. Oh, your ski resort closed. Wow. Wow. Yeah, I do too, Barb. You know, you just... you. It's hard to sometimes get really get into it in September or late August, you know, when preseason, because it's still really warm out. And we're, you know, we don't, I don't really want to be sitting inside staring at the TV when it's beautiful outside. So I really don't much get into it till probably October. And then before you know it, the season's over. Baseball. Baseball's coming. Linda's a baseball fan. Yep, you're right, Linda. It's coming. Yeah. Um, the I usually. Oh, you had sixty two. Oh wow! Wow, Connie. My son is in Western New York, out in the Syracuse area, and uh, my daughter in law said that it was warm enough there. She didn't tell me the temperature, but she said it was warm enough that they had their um, front door open today. Do you, Barb? Yeah. Well, my son always lets me know when truck day is. He's right. He, my son is a huge baseball fan. He could probably tell you, you could ask him probably anything 
that you could come up with as far as trivia goes about baseball, and he'd give you the answer. He is incredible, the stuff that that kid knows. He's not a kid, but... You love football, Charlene? Great. Me too. You got, yeah, snow coming on Monday. Yep, we do too. They're saying 6 to 10, so. All right, let's hope this glue gun should be plenty heated up by now. So, yep, it is. So I'm just going to go right around the middle here. And I got to go quick. All right. Okay. Oh, hi, Crystal. I just saw somebody by the name of Crystal, Crystal pop up. Thank you for being here, Crystal. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jackie. I always forget. Darn that Facebook will ding me. Okay. Now I need to, I'm going to stand up quick. So I make sure I get this nice and centered. Okay, I hope that's centered because it stuck fast. Didn't give me a chance to wiggle at all. But it looks good. It looks good. Okay, so there's that. And then let's get our hello down. So if you just hopped on, everything that I'm using tonight, um, including one of the ribbons, I'm not sure where the yellow came from, but everything is from Walmart. It looks pretty centered. So only the yellow. I'm not sure where the yellow came from, but the round, the leaves, um, the hello, the... Um, flowered ribbon, all from Walmart. The yellow, I mean, I think the yellow probably came from Michael's because they usually have, that's that looks like the ribbon they have it at um, Easter time. Hi, Lori. How are you tonight, my friend? Thank you for jumping on. Quickly, before I forget, while you're here, if, give us a guess for the Super Bowl. Put in the comments, San Francisco... Whatever, 10, KC, 20, whatever you want. And whoever comes the closest is going to win some happy mail from me. All right, so let me get our bow on. Oh, you're watching from work. Well, don't get in trouble. Oh, you know what I didn't get out? I didn't pull anything out. I always forget to pull something out for the center of my bow. All right, so we're going to glue that way up at the top, and then we'll cut. So what do you guys think I should put in the in the middle of the bow? Something blue. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Jeffrey says something blue. Of course he said, oh, you're the boss. Okay, well, then you're not going to get in trouble, right? <laughs> you're the boss. You can do whatever you want. Good for you. Good for you. <laughs> What can we put? I mean, I could put, I have some little bees. I did find my bees that I was looking for the other night. I could put a little bumblebee in the center. That would probably be cute. A small flower. Okay. I do have some flowers here. How about a hummingbird? Yeah, I don't have a hummingbird, honey. Got them in the fridge. Yeah, in the house. <laughs> yeah. But most of them have, their beaks are broken, the poor things. All right, let me turn this around and we'll cut our tails. Let's start about right there, see how that's going to look. I don't want them to hang down too long. Charlene is rooting for Kansas City. Okay. And 
And then also the other thing is to make sure you're sprinkling because I'm only eight away from that 9,500. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do, but we're going to do something to celebrate that. And it'll definitely involve a giveaway. So, so sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Spread the love. All right, let's see what I have here. I have some flowers out here. I got pink. I have white, but I don't think white would look good. I have a couple different kinds of pink. These are cute. I don't know if I put... Maybe a few of these little pink ones. They're nice and bright. Maybe if we put a few of those in there. Yeah, that's pretty. That looks pretty. You guys, can can you see that? Yep. Yep. Good. Let's do that. So let me just snip off the ends a little bit. Exactly. That's what I was thinking, Crystal. I'll pull, draw in this, the pink from the, our hello. Okay. Yes, these little pink flowers are so cute. Thank you, Roxanne. We'll stick a few of them in here, make a little bouquet in the center. I might need a couple more. Hi, Sandy. Welcome from Texas. Thank you for hopping on, my friend. All right, we're going to need a few more. We'll need a few more of these. you oh you did oh awesome awesome i'm glad to hear that oh, job yes yeah, yeah. she got she bought the black truck yep. awesome and like i said deb the the um the foam is uh glued in but the flowers are not so if you want to change those out you can connie I do. Uh, Connie, if you have um, Telegram, I'm on Telegram. So my link is at the top of my page. Um, so you could, I think when you go to the top, you might have to just scroll over one um, window there at the top of my page. But I, if you have Telegram, um, like I said, I do have Telegram. So you could join that. That's how I send out my notification. Now it looks like a little carnation in the center here. Um, so that's, yeah, I always send out a telegram and I usually, I'm on um, normally on Sunday night. I normally don't do Saturday. I only did it because of the Super Bowl. Um, so I'm normally on Sunday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Um, and like I said, I do have telegram. I always send out a telegram and I always post um, on my page. So if you um, allow notifications on my page, then I always post about an hour before I'm going live to remind everybody. So, um, so yeah, that's what I do. All right. I think we're done. You guys are awesome. You guys are so oh, sweet. Oh, oh, that's really pretty. I, <laughs> I really like that. I like that um, in the center. Oh, you don't have Telegram? Well, yeah, and for those of you that don't have Telegram, let me just say that um, uh, it, 
it is a very safe app. So if you have an iPhone, you can go to your app store or you, if you have an Android, go to your Google play, download the telegram app. Uh, the, the, it's just telegram is the name of it. And it's uh, the icon is white and, and light blue. It's very, very safe. I've had it for a few years and that's how I get notified. A lot of crafters use it. So if you download the telegram and then, like I said, go to my page, click on my telegram link, and then it'll bring you back to your app. And at the bottom, it'll say join and you just hit join and you're on my telegram. And every time I go live, you'll get a notification. Thank you, ladies. So thank you so much. I know, isn't it pretty? I think it's really pretty. I really yeah, like the, the colors together are gorgeous. The glue strings are so pretty. <laughs> they just make it, you know. The spiders are out. The spiders are out. But yeah, I love the colors. I love how this came out. I love the bow. I love that. It ended up making it look like a little carnation there in the center. It's so cute. So that's what I have for you tonight, ladies. So thank you so much for joining me as always. Thank you for the wonderful conversation and all the love you guys always show me. I do sell my items, Connie. Um, I did just have an auction. Um, oh, yes, Julie. I think we talked about this last time. I do follow Wayne. So, yes, he does an amazing job with spiders. He does spiders. Yes. So, um, but to answer your question, Connie, I do occasionally, I will post some stuff on my site for sale, but I'm thinking about having, possibly having another auction at the end of February. I'm actually thinking about maybe having one at the end of every month. Um, but yes, so, um, just check back my page frequently, or I can also tell you ladies, if you ever see anything that you really, really like and you want to purchase it. Just send me a private message on Messenger on my page and, you know, let me know that you're interested. Um, it's the name of my site is where you are tonight, Connie. It's your craft cottage. Um, so if you you um, give me a follow and um, then you can always, you know, like I said, message me and I'll give you a price and we can go from there. So. All right, ladies, I'm going to, we're going to call it a night. Good night to all of you wonderful ladies. Thank you to all my newbies for being here. I really appreciate you coming on and joining me tonight. And hopefully, um, if you're not following, you'll give me a follow. Um, so yeah, that's it. So I love you guys so very much. You know that, and I appreciate you. And um, I Yes, you too, Connie, and I always keep you all in my thoughts and prayers. And our prayers finally worked for Barb. We got her furnace in, so Barb, we know, is nice and warm now. So, you ladies, have a great day tomorrow. Enjoy the Super Bowl. Have a great night. And there's the hubby saying good night. So, we love you guys. Have a great night. Mwah. Blow them a kiss, Jeffrey. There we go. Night, ladies. <laughs>